abominable ideas about art number one. Making money is art. This little gem comes from uh, Andy Warhol himself, and this will cause a lot of people some cognitive dissonance because Andy is considered unimpunable. He's one of the giants of contemporary art, and uh, you know, an unquestioned good. And then you have Donald Trump, who the same people would consider an unquestioned bad. And Donald Trump quotes Andy Warhol in his book *The Art of the Deal*. And of course, the quote makes Donald Trump a great artist. But let's—I'm、uh, not going to hold back on you. I'm going to give you the whole quote. So、uh, you know, sit down, get ready for some core wisdom, courtesy of one Andrew Warhola, also known as Andy Warhol. Here's what Andy had to say: Business art is the step that comes after art. I started as a commercial artist. And I want to finish as a business artist. Being good in business is the most fascinating kind of art. During the hippie era, people put down the idea of business. They'd say money is bad and working is bad, but making money is art, and working is art, and good business is the best art. Well, this is.、Uh, This is a heaping, steaming pile of, and I will make that readily apparent to anyone and everyone who is not themselves similarly、uh, deluded by theory and other forms of gilded BS. I have a very simple technique to do this,、uh, but first I'm going to quote from an article I wrote about this. I did a series of. Six articles on abominable ideas in art. This was number one because it's low-hanging fruit. It's easy. I'll make videos for the others if、uh, you know they get a few likes and、uh, subscribes and all that, and it's worth my effort. So I'm going to read from my article. To accept this proposition, you need to buy into two things. One is that making money is a form of art making at all, and two is that it's the most advanced level of art. Both are stinkers, right? I mean, he said,、uh, "Where is it? Business art is the step that comes after art. You know, you're beyond art. You're into business art. Good business is the best art."、Uh, the hippies were closer to the truth than was Warhol. I can illustrate how ridiculous and insulting his idea is by changing one word. Good business is the best music. How's that sit with you? Now the sentiment doesn't even make sense. Making money has nothing to do with music, and it has nothing to do with art either. There was a thing、uh, I picked up so, somewhere along the line, unless it's just you know a natural thing. You know, it's a little thing about thinking and propositions and making statements about the nature of. Reality or about art, you make a statement, you know, this wide sweeping statement, and apply it to a different scenario to see if it still holds. If you say something is true about art, it should be true about music as well, and film and architecture. So if you say good business is the best architecture, <clears throat> good business is the best singing. <clears throat> Good business is the best dancing. How about sports? Good business is the best athletic performance. It's all a crock of, <laughs> but somehow we can apply this to art directly and only to art. It only applies to art. Same as the notion that everyone is an artist. Everyone isn't a singer, and everyone isn't a musician. Only artists, and principally painting is the sworn enemy. Here, so if good business is the best art, what it's better than implicitly is painting. That tends to be the argument. Let's see what else I had to say here.、Uh, even if we are going to try to say that anything and everything is art, then why would business make better art than science, or saving lives, or landing on the moon? If making money is a form of art in the broadest sense of the word. It's closer to the worst art. I mean, yeah, come on. So J.P. Morgan is a great artist. 
How about that guy, his name eludes me at the moment, who upon inheriting a pharmaceutical business raised the price of life-saving AIDS drugs hundreds of percent, you know, basically blackmailing people to pay huge amounts of money to survive. Was that art? Was it creative? Was it using the imagination? You'll notice that the word imagination has disappeared from most discussion of what is art. You know, there's, there's that question, what is art? Seldom is imagination even mentioned, but it should be. It's an integral part of art. I mean, and if you're talking visual art, which Andy is, making money gives us nothing to look at, just as making money gives us nothing to listen to. So, what else did I say here? In the same way you aren't a musician if you don't make some form of music, or something to be listened to at least, you aren't an artist if you don't make something creative that can at least be looked at, or even seen. If making money is great art, so is making war. And uh, some of you may remember after 9-11, Karl Heinz Stockhausen, who's a contemporary composer. I actually like some of his stuff. Uh, less so his opinions, which is the case with a lot of artists. Uh, he said that 9-11 was the greatest artistic piece of our time. So a act is a work of art. This is what's wrong with this kind of thinking about art, where everything is art. Saying business is the best form of art is a bit like saying greed is the most noble self-sacrifice. It's shocking us with stupidity and hoping we mistake the shock for novelty and don't question the stupidity. Um, yeah, I mean, there's this thing with art where in the past artists made innovations that shocked people and were radical for their times. And then now people try to be radical and shocking in order to achieve great art. But it doesn't work that way. That's actually a logical fallacy. I don't know what this logical fallacy is called. There's probably a name for it. But the classic example is all spotted dogs bark. Therefore, all barking dogs are spotted. That's what's going on with this kind of thing. People think because an idea is outrageous or shocking or radical, it must be significant, it must be important, it must be moving forward. But often, it's not progressive, it's not moving forward, it's just out on a limb, cuckoo, and actually is regressive in that respect. Here's a song that was beautiful when performed by my ancestor, Art. Are you going to Scarborough Fair? Parsley, sage, rosemary. 